Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the judgiest place on the internet. My name's Josh. I'm Rick. And I'm Christian. And we are the, the Judges. Judges. We did it, guys. Hooray. Another week down. Breaking records on YouTube, the fastest growing, um, I saw this in the analytics, the fastest growing uh, podcast on YouTube ever that ever. I'm in. That's that's pretty, that's pretty crazy. That's pretty good. That is oh impressive. My God. Yeah, we're you number guys were almost famous. We're number one in the U.S., Senegal, and Malaysia for cool. podcasts that I make an appearance in. Wow. Yeah, and everywhere else in the world, but still, well, I those don't are the think big three. Everywhere else is listening. Wow. Yeah. That's the big three. Yeah, that, there's a reason those are the three. Yeah, and the reason is you. Boo. Hey, um, right. so do you like my new sweatshirt? What's it from? Marshalls. The, the but store? what's the be kind? Is it like it's the just, movie? It, no, I was just saying that, but I thought it was kind of ironic to wear a sweatshirt ah. that says be kind when... We're not unkind. We're on a podcast that judges people. Oh, but... this week's, it's going to be unkind. I only got fucking dipshits. <laughs> well, okay, look. He's only telling stories from his real life. Is it <laughs> not being kind if you're giving people what they deserve? <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, no, when you put it like that, yeah, we are being kind. Right. Like, if someone needs to get punched in the face, I'm not going to do it. But I might tell them they need to have it done to them. Okay. And then, is that me being mean? Mm, no. It's not you That's being not... kind. No, that, you're in the right. Rewind for a second. That's the only joke I got. That's a really good joke. Yeah. It's be not. kind, rewind. That's a very, ah. that's a very good joke for all the people born. Let me jack black it before up before nineteen ninety eight. He was in the movie Be Kind, Rewind. That's a also movie? starring yeah. Mos Def. Yeah, it's a good movie. It's about a VH VHS store where they rent out movies and they keep fucking up, so they have to go and reshoot all the movies themselves. But they're all like thirteen minute videos of like Jack Black. And Mos Def. Mos Def just being fucking idiots. Sounds like a classic. Yeah, it's not. <laughs> but they made merch, so <laughs> I guess I, it works. It's not. Yeah. No, I think it is. If it was, it would say rewind. It fell I off. never looked at the back of the shirt. It says it on the back <laughs> of the shirt. It's like the juicy right. pants. You have rewind <laughs> on your ass. <laughs> you did, Yeah, you didn't get the bottoms to go with it. That's the problem. Mm. That's why it was at Marshall's. It, it was half off. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Hmm. That makes sense. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. I also got a Halloween shirt at Marshall's the other day, and then I picked it up and it said, trick or treat yourself. And I was like, that's pretty cute. Guess I got to buy it. <laughs> and I was that's getting ready to- That's pretty cute. I was putting it back on the thing, and it, the little price tag came out. A dollar. A single dollar for this long sleeve shirt. It's so cute. I had to buy it, obviously. Yeah. I'll wear it on the next week's pod, even though it's, you know, it's Way March. out of season. <laughs> Is it like orange and purple no, and stuff? black. Oh, nice. Uh, I saw somebody unironically, I assume, and they're like probably late 30s, walk out of uh, Walmart yesterday or maybe it was the day before, wearing a shirt that on the back had live, laugh, love, and like oh, that cursive yes. font. Dude, that's like three different fonts between each one. Yeah. Kind of thing. Oh, I would have just fucking I was, came right <clears throat> in my pants as soon as I saw it. I was Did laughing so hard. Did all of so our hard. moms have that decoration somewhere in the house? My mom does. D my mom might. She used. She probably used to. I mean, when me, Taylor, and Luis lived together, we had a live, laugh, love, and then, uh, like bless this home or something like that. It was something about wine. Oh, wine o'clock. Something like that. It's wine o'clock somewhere. I really got you. Really winding me up today. All right, Christian. Quickly into the story. <laughs> nope, nope. We're gonna keep going. I'm. We not, don't have a segue for that. We don't got a segue, so we got to keep going, dude. Okay. Um. Zinfidel, dude. Good, because I don't know where I was going with Zinfidel. <laughs> I got an update to an old post we've Ooh. read on this. Update? The update here is, the original post was, am I the asshole for getting crows to fall in love with me? Something along those lines. Oh, okay. It was, yeah, it was- uh, Weren't they like being aggressive to it people? It was legal advice. Am yeah, I the asshole advice. for feeding crows and then they- created a murder yeah, i created him. an army of yep. crow bodyguards am i liable for my murder if they attempt murder yeah have an update here though uh oh well, let's hear it so to make a long story short i called our local 
Audubon Society. How are you three words in? I don't, I've never seen this word in my life. You've read the post, I assume. Well, yeah, but. You just mentally skipped over the word? Yeah, well, yeah, because when I'm reading in my head, it's like, I don't have to pronounce it. <laughs> we'll, we'll do it live. I, we'll fuck it. We'll I, have it to, live. I have the Bill O'Reilly <laughs> clip just playing in my head. They didn't think feeding the crows was a bad, was bad and suggested that maybe just have the neighbors start feeding the crows with me. So they essentially become better socialized. This plan worked, and the crows are now a beloved part of the community. I think we suggested that. Yeah. I, they should have just called us. <laughs> Wait, does this mean comedy podcasts about red Is that what Audubon means? <laughs> I called my local <laughs> Audubon. The plan worked, and the crows are now a beloved part of the community. There have been no recent dive bombing since. Most amazingly, the crows may have legitimately saved my neighbor. Our city had a big ice storm and snow event recently. And most of my neighbors are older people, like I mentioned in my last post. One of my neighbors was walking down a steep driveway, slipped, and couldn't get up. The crows started going ballistic and were making the most noise we've ever heard. So a different neighbor went outside to see what was up and found this gentleman in his driveway. The neighbor is mostly okay, just some bruising. But needless to say, the crows have been getting some high-value food since then. These crows saved this old man's life. I was honestly expecting you to say that, like, just a whole... They just swarmed him and then <laughs> lifted him lifted up. Him, they carried him to the ER. <laughs> this murder performed the opposite of a murder. The, they saved a life. Ba- oh, my God. They're kind of bad at their job then, right? <laughs> now, of course, this will be... Uh, made into like a feature length film starring uh, Jack Black Crows and Crows Deaf, correct? Yes. Yeah. Boo. That was such a fantastic joke. <laughs> we should really reach out to Jack Black and see if he'll make this. Movie. Uh, he probably would, man. Seems like he does a lot for lo- a lot worse for way less money. <laughs> I just wanted to give everybody like a nice, happy update. Tie I the mean, bow. Tie the crow. A nice sorry. Update. Thank you for sharing. So, yeah. but. But now also it's sort of like to that joke. So now it's kind of like the universe is like the crows owe one to the universe. Like the universe tried to take a man out. Yeah. So now the crows have to give one back to it, restore balance. This so is the crows true. do have to choose. They're gonna have sacrifice. to sacrifice. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean that's unfortunate, but that is just the part of being a crow. It, it comes <laughs> up a lot, as we all know. <laughs> it comes yeah. up a lot in crow society. Yeah. Of course, not all of us. Not all. Of us, not all of us can live as the crow dies. You got that right, Josh. Yeah. But know what we all can do? Get into the next story. Be idiots. Yep. Like the guy in this next story. Never. Couldn't be me. Oh, Josh. Uh, I don't know how to break this to you, but you're an idiot. <laughs> you're a huge, dumb, stupid baby idiot. Oh, my God. The worst insult was huge to me. <laughs> No, you don't like us calling you short. You don't you're, like us calling you. You're a huge, Which is stupid, it? short idiot. You're so medium to me. You're average is all I said. Am I the asshole for suggesting couples pole dancing to my wife? Ooh. It doesn't seem like a bad idea. What an like, adventurous date idea. This it's, it's such a bold, like, this pr- is this is either going to go off swimmingly or drowningly. There's it's, no in between. It's clearly going to be bad because it's, a, it's an am I the asshole it's a post. Bold, it's a bold date idea. You guys are right. I'm 25 and my wife is 25. I got a flyer for a dance studio in our area and it had couples pole dancing offered on it. Off, arguably Which, the worst way to learn about a thing. Yeah, it's right. going to be a scam was, or overpriced if you're getting a flyer about it. Which I didn't know was even a thing. I asked my wife if she wanted to do it, half jokingly. And she got very upset. My wife used to be a stripper when she was pretty young. So that's why I thought she wouldn't mind. She this, still is pretty young. This dude's a fucking idiot. <laughs> she asked why would I even bring up pole dancing to her considering her history. But I thought her history wouldn't make that negative of a thing for her. I know she didn't like being a stripper, but I thought there was more attached to the creeps than the actual pole dancing. I told her I just meant it as a fun thing, and she said that she thought I knew her well enough that it wouldn't be a fun thing. Ouch. 
So, in this guy's mind, is it just going to be like a one-on-one? This dude wanted his girlfriend to strip for him. I, and he had to go with this whole big loophole, like, I'll tell you I found a flyer. Well, no, I think he was like, she used to pole dance. This will be fun. It'll be like living back her old days without the creeps. I don't like that we're saying the old days. She's only 25. <laughs> well, she was pole dancing when she was, I don't know. 13. Uh. Yeah, 13 weeks. <laughs> She was the youngest baby to ever spin on a pole. Ugh. Local PBS. It's actually in the comments here. Local PBS did a story on her. That's so crazy. <laughs> Local <laughs> PBS. <laughs> Ouch. I asked her if she ever got injured on the pole, and she said that <laughs> me asking that proves I don't know what the problem was. Am I the asshole? Yeah. I really love her, and... We'll totally get over this, but I just wanted to know. I'm going to get over it. So, like, I'm fine. It's her that's oh. having the problem. Come on, Janet. What are you doing? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, if he knew that she didn't like it to begin with, like, if she knew, if he knew that was a bad part of her life that she didn't want to ever, like, go through again, then I feel like, yeah, he would be the asshole for bringing it up. But yeah, if no. it was just, like... Oh, yeah, you used to do this, not thinking anything of it. Like, let's do something adventurous. No, this dude's a dipshit. This this, this dude so wanted his wife to strip for him and had to come up with a convoluted plot to make it seem au natural. You know what he could have just done? He could have just asked her to strip. No, yeah, that would have never worked. That would have never worked. I mean, clearly she there's has some a bad s- history there. She would have never stripped. Clearly there is some sort of trauma that she associates with the act. Which, if you're married to someone, you would maybe know that. You should know that. I mean, the thing is, like, he knows well enough that she used to be a stripper and that she didn't enjoy it. So it's like, why would why'd you be like, I'll just do the act, the physical part of it. You won't have to deal with the creepy emotional part of it. It'll be fine. Don't Besides worry. Ev- every other guy who got their wives to sign up sitting <laughs> watching all the other wives dancing on a it pole. Was a, it was a couple's <laughs> pole dancing. He would have had to dance too. But like... He would have had to dance too. All the guys would have been like, oh, I can't do this. <laughs> oh, I don't got enough body upper body strength to hold myself Yo, on the pole. That shit's hard. I believe it. I- Everybody gives strippers flack for, like, oh, it's a bad job or, like, you're trash for doing it. I'd like to see half of the... They are. Fucking athletes. You know, I just learned, like, not that long ago that the pole spins. Yeah. That the pole is spinning them. Oh, they're they're not athletes anymore. I take that. (laughs) No, that's still super (laughs) impressive. That's like taking PEDs almost. I would not be able to do any of that. A fireman's pole don't spin. They just slide down that shit. Yeah. Well, they're not as athletic. Do firemen actually slide down poles? Is this a real thing that happens? I don't know, man. I don't know. The Can one you call, just call nine one one right now. One. Get get our local fire department. You guys on have the a phone. pole? <laughs> Do you guys slide down a pole? I get a flyer in the mail for uh, a pole dancing uh, class. Are you guys hosting that still, or couples pole sliding? I don't, Do you, Be is honest, this you would either of you do that? A couple's pole dancing? Yeah. No. If it was if it was just me and my partner and an instructor, and an instructor yeah, I would be down to do it. But well, if, what if it was like if a there group was, thing, the four of us? Yeah, oh, yeah. If it was, yeah, that's fine too. But if it was just random people watching me thunder thigh my way up a fucking silver column coming out of the ground, rotating, busting my ass in a class. <laughs> fucking that's not fun that shit down it's not fun to me i don't want to do that i'll do other athletic things that i feel more confident in but that's just me being a fragile male <laughs> i wouldn't do it just i'll cause... go to a football passing clinic oh hell oh my God. hell yeah brother <laughs> put some spin on that bitch you know what i'm saying <laughs> <laughs> you know the ball spins gonna... <laughs> it's not just your hand spinning when sure, you throw sure, it. Sure, sure, yeah. i would not do it just because one these hips don't got no rhythm in them <laughs> Ain't no fluid in these hips. I'm I'm stiff. I wouldn't be able to swing around that. That's pole. the whole point of the class, though, is to like. No, no, no. I don't want to pay for a class or something. I'm gonna be bad at. That's the fragile male coming <laughs> out. <laughs> Josh, stop it! You're blowing my cover here. I would do it. I think that would be fun. Yeah, I know you do it. And I would. I would just have so much fun laughing at you the whole time. Yeah, you do. This so sounds terrible, and that's and fine to me. Yeah. yeah, if we're all laughing at you, I'm 
totally down. As for long as idea. I'm being the creepy guy in the corner <laughs> with sunglasses on for no reason. <laughs> It's 12 o'clock and all the lights are on. What are you doing? They've got like bowling alley lights. I still <laughs> I still have sunglasses on. <laughs> oh, yeah. I've got like glaucoma. I've got a <laughs> doc says. Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> got the doc's note right here. Also, I'm going to need. Flash clothes. I'm going to need your weed. <laughs> Cash grass or ass, babe. <laughs> I don't make the rules. <laughs> You know what? I'm grabbing one of them. <laughs> you gotta make a decision. <laughs> That's on you. It's not on me. I told you. I prefaced it. Yeah, you did. You did preface it. But we're gonna go on to the next story. And next, hey, an- like... another tale here of a utter dipshit of a man. <laughs> it's pretty mo- oxymoronic, if you ask me. Dipshit of a man. Have you ever had a story on here about a guy being good? No. You know what? That's a good question, Josh. That's a very good question. Like, for all the shit that women get in our society for, like, being crazy, I feel like a lot of the stories that involve a heterosexual relationship... A lot of dudes just be wild. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> huh. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. I mean, it takes, like, a woman questioning one thing for her to be labeled as, like, insane. It takes a lot... A guy has to, like, straight up murder people before it's like, well, maybe he was just had a bad day. You yeah. know, like mm-hmm. <laughs> a man can get into a bumper to bu- a, a, a fender bender, get out and scream at a 13 year old child and then get back in his car. And they're like, ah, must have been crunching those numbers real hard at the office today. <laughs> Why was a 13 year old driving? Thinking the same thing. <laughs> they weren't. That's the thing. Oh, fuck. Yeah. That's so crazy. He Mama, was he, standby. He backed into them a standby while the, the, the parent was in the grocery store. I stand up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Another idiot man. Oh, no. (laughs) Okay, we're going to move on quick before anybody catches on to that. Am I the asshole for my reaction to my boyfriend's reaction to the illustrated book I made for him? Okay, wait. So, am I the asshole for making fun of my my, boyfriend? For my reaction to my boyfriend's reaction to this book I made for him. You're crying and I'm laughing at you crying type of thing? Maybe. Christian doesn't cry. I, you don't I, laugh. I've honestly never cried in my entire life. You've never laughed at anything I said, and you've never cried at anything I did. Oh, that is true. And you guys only exist in my world. <laughs> Have you tried just being you guys... one funnier and two more sincere? <laughs> Jesus, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, every day. That's all I do. I literally I take text classes you, on this. I literally text you good morning, how's it going, updates at work, good night. <laughs> Thinking of you, GIFs every now and then. My so I, my husband's boyfriend. I send you I send you three cards in the mail per week. Yeah, I. He's a better boyfriend I'm, than you are a husband. I'm pretty busy, so I, sorry I don't get back to any of that. Mm. I got important stuff to do. Yeah, like, like building your like Gundam. Me. Build you, sorry, you building your Gundam. <laughs> fucking action what do you even statue it's a model model? It's a model you fucking idiot it's a one one hundredth scale model you fucking dumbass how is it a one one hundredth scale model of a thing that doesn't exist <laughs> hey man good question i don't question it <laughs> hey, they no they have a real gundam in japan hmm. i mean to scale statue like a real fake one they have a statue i think it can move now i think it can do like robot like boop, boop. <laughs> That's just as cool as as the show, I bet. It it's honestly cooler than the show because <laughs> it's real. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Do you get to go up inside it? I don't know. I probably not. There'd just be too much cum inside of this. They let every fucking weeb in there. <laughs> and if there wasn't before Christian went in there, would you after he left? Yeah, I, I'd get stuck into the seat. <laughs> How? What is the properties of your sperm, man? No, he just sits there for so long in it afterwards. Viscous, dog. That's bad. It's non-Newtonian fluid almost. You'd just be looking like the spider cavern in the first Lord of the Rings movie. <laughs> yeah. My jizz is like oobluck, dog. As soon as you try to like move it, it just solid turns into a solid. I'm just stealing my tweets. It's fine. Continue. Oh, wow. That was a tweet? Yeah, hmm, I wouldn't know. I didn't do a deep dive on you. 
Ooh, call or it well. I believe my tweet was, my dick is like a non-Newtonian fluid because it's soft before you touch it, but as soon as you touch it, it gets hard. Also, I come oobleck. Do you just have every tweet you've ever made memorized? I have all the good ones memorized. I don't get enough favorites, yeah. Um, yeah, I must have... <laughs> <laughs> Must have I definitely that stole one. that idea from you. I definitely you incepted me. But let's get back to the story, guys. Sure, yeah. <laughs> let's start the story. <laughs> All we got through was the title, right? Yeah, yeah. Am I the asshole for my reaction to my boyfriend's reaction to the illustrated book I made sure. for him? Okay, I'm I'm there. I'm with you. So I made a gift for my boyfriend. It was a book where I made watercolor paintings of different places we've been and done together in our relationship. I figured it'd be meaningful super insane gift idea this is so (laughs) deep and thoughtful my boyfriend told me i don't like art but i don't think your drawings are very good anyways oh man i was hurt and told him it hurt my feelings that the book didn't mean anything to him he told me i was being selfish and said that clearly my ego is more important than him since i wanted him to lie that i'm good at drawing that's what he said that's what she said. Classic <laughs> example of two men being shitty, huh? Yeah. I told him I tried to do something meaningful, and he again said, I don't like art, so why would your drawings mean anything to me? He then said, I'm selfish because all I care about is being told I'm good at drawing. I actually don't. Am I out of line for being hurt that the book meant nothing to him, or am I, like he says, a selfish ass? This is wild, you guys. <laughs> Could you imagine giving such a heartfelt <laughs> gift and then just the person be like, I don't even fucking read books. Be better if you weren't shit. <laughs> this is how I felt about your gift, your wedding gift. I, for those of you that don't know, um, for Christian's wedding gift, <laughs> I... Some, 95% of our listeners plus. Yeah. Continue. I'm sorry. Thank you. For those of you who don't know, For those of I'm you who asshole. don't know, Josh is suck. He just sucks. Anyway... I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> I'm too nice. I, 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 I'm <laughs> sorry, Josh. I didn't mean Shut that. the fuck up. Stop. Both of you, let me get through this. Stop being so kind. Anyway, for those of you that don't know, <laughs> I got Christian a handmade leather bound notebook. And then for every day from the year mark before our wedding day until our wedding day, I wrote him like a love letter or like a little snippet of what our day was like or what we did that day um every day and halfway through it i was like this might be fucking stupid what if he hates this and he's just gonna look at me like why the fuck would i want this this is (laughs) this is dumb but uh nope it was great he loved it it was was fucked up honestly very shitty of you erica it was it was way too nice and thoughtful and heartwarming of a gift it was was, too good it was the (laughs) best gift you could like ever give somebody and it was just like oh but you got to figure out what to get me that's gonna be equal to this i never asked you for anything equal (laughs) well the the best part because didn't you ask her like how much money she spent on it? yeah and she's like i don't know like ten (laughs) dollars it was like 35 and so he was like freaking out and and he's like, I, I don't, I don't know, man. What, what do I get? And I was like, I don't know. And I think Erica told me at one point, like, this is what I'm doing for Christian uh-huh. as like a way of like that way you can tell him and like he like not tell him exactly, Drop some fucking hands. but like, and I just as soon as you told me, right out my head. I was not like, even surprised. <laughs> I was just like, next time I saw Christian, I was like, oh, I gotta tell you something. Don't remember. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> I'm sure it didn't matter. And then I think w- once he told me about it after the wedding, he was, I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, man. I definitely was supposed to tell you about that. Just the most heartfelt gift you could ever get somebody. And she's like, what am I? How am I ever supposed to compare to this? Do I start writing a journal from the day after the wedding for a year? I didn't. I was- <laughs> I'm oh, that been so good. <laughs> I joked that that was because the first wedding anniversary is like your paper anniversary. Mm -hmm. So I joked with him that like I started another journal and it was our first year married and I was going to give him that. And he's like, are you fucking kidding me, Erica? Didn't you learn your lesson? Christian didn't talk to you for a week. (laughs) Don't you ever pull that shit on me. Here's the thing. I'm kind of in the same boat as this guy because she got me a journal. I don't know how to fucking read, Erica. (laughs) That's fair. 
I cried every time I read it because I couldn't fucking read. That's why you cried? <laughs> That's why I was crying every time I tried Not to read because it. because my expressions of love for you were just so pure and That's sweet. I was like, the, 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 the dinner tonight was good. <laughs> you should know your last name, man. It's just the front cover. <laughs> D- it was dear. More, more difficult to read my shitty handwriting than anything. Um, yeah, really funny though that this this partner like that's where his mindset is is like, oh, you created something for me. It has to be one hundred percent perfect, otherwise, it's not good to me. Also, but that's what I'm saying though. Like, if you would have said what the fuck am i supposed to do with this this isn't really a gift for me would you have married a man who would have ever said that no (laughs) but it would have it would have absolutely crushed me like i think i probably would have left you oh wow no that makes sense i know i get it i just feel like it hurts when you say you would have left me like if you're like oh i would have broke up with my fiance yeah it makes sense you do you but you're like i would have left you and it's like Owie, no. <laughs> Not me, though. <laughs> Don't do it to this guy. Ow, uh, my feelings. This person does have an update. By the way, I did not intentionally... I did not initially mention this in my post, but technically, we're no longer together after this incident. Yeah. He told me I'm Makes selfish sense. and all I care about is my ego. He told me I'm looking for a fairy tale relationship and said that Something was wrong with me because I was single at my age, even though he is my age. They're 25. What are they talking about here? Or No, that's the last one. Yeah, the last one was 25 and 25. They don't have an age here, but what a fucking psychopath. Uh, Something's wrong with me because I'm single at my age. He also called me a worthless whore. He then blocked me on Facebook. This is pre or post breakup. This is post breakup. Or maybe this was the argument while breaking up. I'm pretty sure if you call me a selfless whore, you're getting dumped, so. Yeah. (laughs) Why doesn't that one hurt as much? (laughs) Well, because then I'm the one dumping, right? (laughs) Oh, no, you're dumping me. Christian starts crying when he realizes. (laughs) I know this sounds crazy and unreal, which is why I initially didn't want to mention it. But if anyone doesn't believe me, I can provide the text where he says that I wrote with... I can provide the text where he says what I wrote above. Only that they're in Polish since that's where we live. Honestly, I'm in shock that my boyfriend who was always talking about marrying me and who had asked me to move in with him in November left me because of an art book. You can see why I blamed myself since he was so angry about it. Mm-hmm. I don't Maybe. think you should be blaming yourself. Well, no, you shouldn't be blaming yourself. Maybe he was like your reaction where it's just like this is the best gift anybody could ever give now i have to dump her because i'll never live up to to that expectation for her you set the bar too high amanda yeah that maybe that's why they broke up she's making me feel emotions i better just cut this off now before you want a fairy tale relationship where i like you (laughs) you want me to like my wife oh no way i've only grown up watching louis ck i'm supposed to hate my wife dude is that a Gen uh, a Gen X thing where like they just hate their spouses? It's, it's a anybody over the age of. I mean, like I've made those jokes. The old ball and chain. Well, no, it? but this is like they actually hate their wives. Yeah, no. We've yeah. gone to parties with like relatives and stuff, and like all my sib- or all my cousins and siblings are like older than me. So when I go to like parties with them, yeah, it's just a lot of being like this fucking bitch. And it's like. <laughs> We this did. We went to like one of our. We went to a cookout. We went, yeah, with like. He was getting invited to the cookout. Yeah. yeah. Wow. With like his cousins, adult friends, and the whole time, like, I could just hear the men talking about how much they hate their wives and like. Within earshot of their wives. Yes. This, yes. We were with like. <laughs> Do the wives talk shit about the men? No, they no. were all talking about their children and how great they are, and I was just sitting in the middle between these two groups. It was wild. It was nuts. Erica left in a very. Bad I was mood. so upset. I do feel like maybe maybe this is me giving men too much of a of a pass or like of a, a credit here. I do feel like 
it almost becomes like a pissing contest of like who can one up on how much they hate their wife when in reality sure. they don't actually hate their wife. That's what I'm hoping for. And that's kind of what you said. Cause I was, I was upset. I was like, is this what it's going to be like for us? You're just going to like tell your friends how much you hate me in the future. I don't want that. Oh, yeah. Christian, Christian would never express emotion to anybody. In his yeah, life, that's so. true. I wouldn't it's, ever it's even right. imagine opening up. Oh, that my roommate. Yeah. I nothing her. <laughs> <laughs> she cooks sometimes. I cook sometimes. It's a pretty beneficial mutually beneficial relationship yeah i'm pretty content with her uh, as a roommate um sometimes she does take up more of the bed than i'd like but overall it's i'm in the process it's a pretty good uh, deal we have going on there's a sale at menards with a 15 13 percent rebate 11 percent rebate on like a 22 pack of painter's tape so i'm in the process of dividing everything in the middle uh but i did give her a little bit like 10 percent extra on the bed because she's a good sport yeah. Goopy soaps <laughs> Referring to your life partner as a good sport. <laughs> that's what I mean. It's just like, that's not healthy yeah, for no. either people. That's pretty cool, though. I I wish I had the confidence to just tell my partner, like, I oh, the thing you like to do is utter dog shit <laughs> and you're bad, too. <laughs> I don't I don't mean like I think he, I, wish, he wishes he had the confidence I, that he would do it. Yeah. <laughs> I just wish I could. I wish I could tell Josh, like, how about you stop podcasting, dude? <laughs> how about you find a hobby that you're good at? But that's really what you want to say to me? No, that's what I want to say to Josh. His partner. Wanna... Yes, his life partner. Yeah, yeah, my yes. life. Not his wife partner. <laughs> 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 well, I think just like this people's relationship, the we podcast is over. Split. We should take a break. I don't think they take I a don't break think though. They... I mean, what is a What's the fucking dumbass uh, WandaVision meme? What is a break but just a relationship ending ending persevering? Bye. <laughs> We're topical. Bye. And we're back from our nice little break. Erica, what do we got for the circle jerge? I got a, I got a little circle jerge for you. Um, I don't know if you guys have heard this, but apparently... <laughs> What? Have you heard of this? Have you seen this? I was thinking it's Christian's dumbass joke. <laughs> you heard about this? You seen this? Okay, well, anyway, um, I guess the CDC just has put out um, information and guidance and tips on zombie preparedness, huh? which, like, in the middle of a pandemic. Why would they do that? Why? That's such a bad... Thanks, Biden. Bad optics, right? It's because Biden's already dead. It oh, actually fuck. turns out that they... They put it out in 2011, but it's just getting... Was that when the bath salt shit was going on in Florida? Obama? Maybe. That's about right. I mean, Because was... I remember when the bath salt shit was happening, and there was, like, all the headlines of, like, zombies. real zombies spotted in Jacksonville. It yeah. Was, there was, like, guidelines eventually that got put out for, like, if this does happen, what to do. Yeah. But the thing is, like, they're not specific to zombies. It's just general preparedness. Like, if there's a fire, here's what you need. If you're evacuating your home, here's what you should take with you. Yeah. Like, how to prepare for, like... An like, emergency. An emergency. Yeah, like, fire zombies. Yeah. Or, yeah. like, earthquake zombies. <laughs> Tornado zombies. <laughs> and I guess, like, the actual... The zombie community, the people who are actually, like, really into zombie lore... Oh, They're okay. like, why aren't you putting out information on how to kill zombies? <laughs> and they, the CDC was just like, well, we work in health, public health... And we don't ever give out directions on how to kill someone. Um, actually, sweaty, it's zombies with an X on the end because we don't gender our undead. Thank you. Well, zombies is plural, meaning very, very all genders. Very so. progressive. All Fucking years. getting upset about misgendering zombies. Yeah. Um. So I just thought it was interesting. Like the New York Post did an article about it. Oh, the New York Post. The, nice. The, they there's a whole bunch of articles. Anyway. Oh, good. Um, they did it just because like their platform in 2011, I guess, wasn't getting as much traffic. Mm. So they're like, oh, the Walking Dead's really big right now. We'll we ride click, that. Clickbait them right now. Yeah. And that's pretty much what they did. You got any hot tips that we need to know? Um, What's the number one zombie tip? I feel like if the number one tip is like have a designated space outside of your home to meet. 
that's like zombies wrote that shit. <laughs> yeah, it's for sure zombie. Because <laughs> that's like what you do in a fire is like have a designated space designated space for your family to meet outside your home. And it's like that is exactly fucking playing right into zombies' hands. Yeah. So basically the the sample teaching tool that they have is the zombie apocalypse threat is imminent the mayor's staff has been compromised and it's up to you to write a speech for the mayor advising the community about what actions to take oh. what do you tell the community to do uh here's okay. my uh speech for the mayor oh fuck guys <laughs> shall we really oh this one fuck up? oh jeez. <laughs> uh, go home tell your family you love them because <laughs> we're fucked boys <laughs> I mean, I would definitely include that in the speech, but also, like... Oh, but don't panic. Don't <laughs> panic. Please don't go out and buy all the toilet paper. I would honestly say stay home. And so that piqued my interest. So I got on Reddit, and I was yeah. like, there's got to be a big Reddit community about, you know, zombie apocalypse shit. What do you think, like, the zombie fan, like, nicknames are? Like, the... I bet you they're fucking creeps and don't even oh. call them. They're probably call them like walkers. They don't even call it like uh, zombies are actually too general of a term that well, only refers to the things that are undead in so, Night of the Living Dead. And so in Walking Dead, it's actually walkers. And that is true. That's not exactly what I mean. I worded my question wrong. Like, what do you think the community calls themselves as like a nickname? Like, yeah, like, uh, what is like fucking deadheads? De- no, that's <laughs> obviously for what? the Grateful Dead, <laughs> right? What? Yes. Oh, they probably Who's call the themselves like Swifties or something, <laughs> right? Uh, the Walker Texas Rangers. One Deers. <laughs> yeah. Jake Pollard's probably. Oh, fuck. <laughs> so anyway, um, I looked up like what the most popular contingency plan would be. There's a whole post about it. and Fill your bathtub up with water. Basically, like, just stay home. You've already got all of your stuff there that Kill you yourself. need to live. End it. Make sure your head gets crushed. That way you yourself can't become a zombie and terrorize the ones you love most. Sure. And it's like they said that a lot of people will probably have the same plan. Like, oh, we're we're all going to gather and meet at this one designated place. (laughs) Yeah. So then the, the thing that they're telling you is like stay home for as long as you possibly can until it's no longer an option and then go do your plan. Okay. That's now that sounds like somebody writing it who like. Okay, my plan is to go to the supermarket, and that's going to be everybody else's plan. So you guys all stay home. Well, I we go should, to the supermarket. We should all stay home. Let's form an orderly line during an apocalypse <laughs> to steal Quaker Oats. Because we I'm all saying. saw how the toilet paper hoarding yeah. went at the beginning of a pandemic. Well, if they all would have stayed home and shit themselves, then... <laughs> this would have never happened if everyone just shat themselves. <clears throat> um, one was about, like, a cruise ship. Oh, buy buy your own cruise ship and then I just get saw a full one for staff. sale on Facebook Marketplace for five million dollars. Is that in the judges' budget? Are we gonna have a judges podcast cruise? <laughs> yeah, during a pandemic. <laughs> the, the we thing don't have that, to invite anybody else. The thing that spreads diseases more than anything else in the world, a cruise. Mm-hmm. I'm also a huge, otherwise. huge fan of the cruise ship industry. I love love the dumping of hot just take here. Shitty fuel into the ocean. Cruise ships fucking suck. The cruise industry should die. Anybody that goes on a cruise, um. you lame angel. Uh-oh. <laughs> Cruises are bad. They're bad for the environment, and they are breeding grounds for many diseases. Get her. Don't go on any more cruises. Go for the jugular. This is a bad time <laughs> they, to bring up this week's sponsor. <laughs> they dump all their Carnival. fuel in the ocean, all their trash, all the people's literal shit. It all goes in the ocean. Cruises are bad. Use code Judgy's Pod for 20% off your next Carnival cruise. <laughs> Carnival, you're the worst. And during this beginning of the pandemic, they were like, oh, we want tax breaks and we need re- relief funds because we're, we're, we're drowning pun intended is that you writing the speech for the mayor of cruises <laughs> yes and it's like these fuckers register an offshore like they register for other countries where they don't have to pay taxes specifically yeah. so they don't pay taxes in the united states like fuck that yeah. you don't you don't get our aid money for a stupid industry that's destroying the planet i'm going on a rant i'm sorry i think eric is pretty heated on the heated cru- cruises so suck so you're like anti-big boat you're like more small boat yes correct okay like on a pontoon. Correct. Like dingy, you're more like pro yeah. dingy. Mm-hmm. You're a dingy gal. Yeah. You're a real dingbat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, he's drowning. Someone throw him a fucking life raft. <laughs> oh god, guys. 
How good are you are at editing the video? Not that good. Oh, so That's... you can't like picture like record me going and then you just, can like, just... what? And you add you like a little like cut stand by bloop like and cat. then we come back and his hair's all messed up and it's like <laughs> I could do that. You oh. could. That was mainly you doing the work there. <laughs> all I'd have to do is cut to black and then edit you still did all of it. <laughs> You did all of the work already. But I didn't get to strangle you hard enough, so. Whoa, save it for the... Bedroom? Well, uh, save it for your 60% of the bed, Erica. <laughs> all right. Moving for on. For the second half of this episode, I figured... Uh -oh. Deep dive into Josh's Twitter. And I didn't do a deep dive on your Fuck. Twitter. You have a Is fucking that what you bot want that us deletes to do? all your shit. I would have done a deep dive, but you, all your shit gets deleted. Yeah. It's, and uh, then you delete all your tweets. They're called Anything? premium tweets. Ever heard of it? It's so you have to fucking follow <laughs> me to see that shit. Any tweet where you're like, oh, this only got one like, I'm going to delete it. It's like, yeah, it's embarrassing to have that on the timeline. I didn't know this. No one gave me this message. <laughs> and then you're fucking going back eight years and finding me like... Sweet, bro. Can't wait to catch you at the mall. That stupid shit. What, was, what are my original tweets? Stupid. Hashtag like, sleeveless shirt Sunday. Just, I believe <laughs> is the first tweet. I just want to fucking. You know what? Let's end this episode. I... Erica, choke him, please. <laughs> choke us out of here. Choke. Yeah, just end my freaking life, bro. No, thank you. Today I fucked up. Wait, Bye. what's the? Did, were you going to preface it? What's the second half of the episode? We're going to do some today. I fucked up instead of am I the assholes? <laughs> really changing it up on this part. Oh, you know what? Fine. No, we're going to do a real. We're going to do a real <laughs> heel turn here. We're going to do. <laughs> a, am I? Uh, did I fuck up? Nope. <laughs> you didn't even do a new subreddit. <laughs> we got a new subreddit alert, folks. Whoop. Hit him. Hit him with the whoop. <laughs> This subreddit's called <laughs> Low Stakes Conspiracies. Did we just bully Christian into changing his whole episode? You did. It worked. <laughs> Here's the problem. I, I'm a big fan of conspiracy theories. We've talked about this in a prior episode. Here's the problem with Reddit's conspiracy board. It's fucking wacko. It's They're just too fucking... conservative. It's too alt-right. Yeah, it's just super Q and on It's like, where's the good and funny conspiracies? Mm -hmm. Then I stumble upon this little bad boy here. Low stake conspiracies. Mm. Can I tell you my favorite low stakes conspiracy? Yeah. Uh, chapstick puts ingredients in chapstick to make your lips more chapped. I believe it. Fucking big chapsticks out here mm -hmm. chapping our lips. Yeah. It really chaps my ass how <laughs> chapped my lips get. Yeah. <laughs> That's my. That's, that's. I think I might be on the same page. As I'm. You. I'm so stubborn. I heard that once, and I've never used chapstick, ever. <laughs> I will your, sometimes. Your lips are literally bleeding right I will, now. <laughs> huh? <laughs> I will sometimes use what's like the Vaseline. Yeah, sometimes, oh. but only if it's offered. I do not own. <laughs> I have to ask strangers <laughs> for Vaseline. You got any Vaseline for my lips? <laughs> I. I do. I have lip Vaseline specifically. Really? My lips don't chat, baby. Lips I'm lying. Here's our first low state conspiracy. Bathroom cells could go all the way down to the floor, but big office opts against it. Their workers can't be anonymous and are socially pressured into not using the bathroom or to use bathroom for shorter periods of time to avoid constantly being noticed via their shoes. That's fair. That's true. Big That's why you outsmart the man. And you have your bathroom shoes hidden under your desk. So you wear a new pair of shoes <laughs> That's to smart. the bathroom. That's smart. Why are you always wearing a backpack? <laughs> <laughs> What's up with the, <laughs> the pooping bath pack, backpack? Um, That's when you just look at them in the eyes and just say, lady problems. Yeah, we don't have that privilege. Uh, they don't know that. <laughs> if I say lady problems to my boss, they'll be like, you're fired, I think. <laughs> <laughs> then you've got a lawsuit. They can't fire you for lady <laughs> for problems. For being a woman? <laughs> yeah. It's none of his business what you got going on down there. That's fair. That's super fair. It's Wait, more than fair. This both ties into the next one. Gender is a scam invented by bathroom companies to sell more bathrooms. That's 100% more bathrooms they got to sell. That's true. And it is a societally constructed uh, thing. Concept. Yeah. Concept. I would argue that's a high stakes. 
I wish we honestly, I wish the US had more big bathroom influence. Yeah, we could larger bathrooms would be a lot better for me. We could definitely, yeah. Worst thing in life is being cramped while being the most vulnerable. Also, yeah, yeah, just taking a shit and just the too tight of a too tight of a stall. At least dogs get a human to like stare into their souls for. We don't get nothing. At least give me a mirror. I was literally just thinking about that same fact. Like that's why (laughs) dogs will not break eye contact with you while they're shitting. You got my back. Yes. Give me a mirror. Let me stare into my own soul. Let me really fucking deep dive. Mm, No thanks. Here's another one for you guys. Preheating is a lie made by Big Oven to increase the wear and tear on your oven. Agree. Hard agree. Yeah. All you got to do is just put two extra minutes on that bad boy. <laughs> You're golden. Literally. Brown. <laughs> or otherwise. Remember earlier when we were baking Josh cookies to come over here and you yelled at me to go preheat the oven? <laughs> you got to preheat the oven. Christian works for NICOR. <laughs> Yikes. Uh, I'm a big shill for Big Oven. <laughs> major shill for big oven here's here's another another one this is might be the biggest one i read so far the shift from true tinfoil to aluminum foil directly corresponds to the rapid spread of radio technology in the 1920s this is not a coincidence okay the hats were effective <laughs> they were always effective but now the man has denied us the materials for our liberation okay thoughts this is true. That's back in the day, tinfoil hats kept all them signals out of your brain. Now we're all just fucking walking robots, dog. We're just so, waiting to turn into zombies. Uh, Mr. Tin Reynolds was like, gotta stop with this shit. They're catching on to us. Oh. Pivot to aluminum, baby. Our, our brainwashing technology isn't working. Give them aluminum. It amplifies the signal. But we'll just let them colloquially refer to it as tin foil. Keep calling it They'll tin. They'll never none the one to be none the wiser. Keep calling it tin. Those fucking idiots won't ever catch on. Why did they really switch to aluminum? Cheaper. Oh. Yeah. I wondered. It just reminds That's what me. they want you to believe. <laughs> it reminds me of like the helium industry. How like helium balloons are taking up all of the helium in the world. Mm-hmm. And there's actual... Really important medical procedures that require helium. And all, and all the big helium execs are up there just going, he, 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 he. Those sick fucks. <laughs> I, that was a science joke. I, I enjoyed that. I was about to boo you, but then I do like them science jokes. You gotta love science jokes. That's the second best element joke I got. What's the first? It's because it's the second element. Oh, shit. That was a really good joke. I also. have a chemistry minor. I should know that. Yeah, I think a big problem with the helium industry is that the like world's largest supply of helium's in North America. So you know, we're gonna fucking yeah capitalize the shit out of that. Yeah, the issue with helium, of course, is that the prices just keep going up and up and never come down. And with that shitty joke, we're going to the next conspiracy here. The Alexa fart noises are illicitly illicitly recorded from unsuspecting Alexa users. Oh my god. That would be so that would literally like out of all of the big tech like scary actual conspiracies, that would actually I think make my life better. If I knew, if I told, "Hey Google, let me hear one of you, rip a fat one." It's going to rip a fat one if I don't stop it. Let me <laughs> let me hear you rip you a fat one. It. If that's like a guy in fucking uh Senegal just Ate a real you, protein dense dinner. You caught him. <laughs> Had some beans and because so this person talks on the Amazon Echo. There's a function which plays fart noises on requests. Yeah, is this a true function? Do yeah. they actually? Yeah. So those videos of like, hey Alexa, no. So fat no, fart. I sent you guys a video of a guy who programmed his Alexa to whisper, but you can ask the Alexa to like fart. fart. Yeah. Okay, but he programmed it to be like. Oh yeah, do you like that fart, Daddy? And then it would rip a bad one. The just sweet, sweet juicer of a fart. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this this poster is... don't deserve this kind of technology. <laughs> this poster, we we literally have the knowledge that like Archimedes and Plato and Socrates would fucking murder to have at the tip of our fingertips, and we mm-hmm. use it to tell a digital device fart, to fart. please, <laughs> fart more, please. Give me funny noise. We upload hour long audio of people that we. And listen to people that we don't know talk about shit and coming mm-hmm. and butts and ass. Well, I think Socrates would actually be a pretty big Judges fan. <laughs> yeah. Huge. I think uh, Plato would love that shit, unironically. Yes. Michelangelo as well. Mm-hmm. Ooh, no, he's kind of stuck up. In a way, we Leonardo. are artists, and this is our David. 
this this yeah. is our and our Mona Raphael. Lisa. <laughs> Don't forget What's about the last one? Donatello. Donatello and Splinter. See the rat. But yeah, this poster is claiming that these are these are recorded from unaware list users farting in front of their Echo Dots, not realizing sound is being picked up. These are then cataloged by AI and anonymously replayed back when others are requesting their fart noises. At least it's anonymous. At least it's not like, <laughs> this one's from Erica in Midwest <laughs> Illinois. This fart is coming. <laughs> I, w- th- I wish that was true. I wish we lived in a world where I could be naive enough to think that there's an entire fucking Patriot Act... It- Patriot Act implemented into the United States and they they don't use it to like steal metadata to like sell you more targeted ads or like like I don't know if you guys heard that story about the lady who like Google told her she was pregnant before she knew she was pregnant based off of like IR search or uh, AI search functions. I just wish I was naive enough to be like <laughs> yeah, just stealing our farts, man. <laughs> that's all that's all Google wanted. Yeah. The the CEO of Google just got a fart fetish. He's like, I'm going to create an uh, entire fucking that, system and Jeff Bezos is like, that all was right. The, that was the top comment on here it says these are all just from Jeff Bezos' uh collection. <laughs> Jeff That's why Jeff Bezos and his wife got a divorce. She wasn't producing enough farts anymore. Ugh. We, we got to bump those fart numbers up, babe. Our third quarter's got to be we got to have more farts. We got to meet quotas. That's their sexy talk. <laughs> Uh, we got a couple more here. We'll just go through, or should I start? Should I, can I go back to my other one? Can I go back to my original story? Or are you guys gonna yell at me again? Are you gonna bull me I into finding enough another? time now? You want to bull me into another new subreddit? Yeah, do better. Josh is over oh. here coming up with whole ass songs and Mad Libs for us. And what do you got? The same stuff. Over wow. and over, but different Switching this back time. And forth. Wow, guys! <laughs> Erica's no, but this time we did both on the front half, and then I switched it to the other one on the other half. He did a callback to be fair <laughs> earlier. I don't want to show Josh's emotion ever. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking cry right now. I might laugh at his joke even. Wow, that means the next joke I have has to be a really good one. I don't want to waste the joke. <laughs> All right, it's touche. you, dude. It's you. You're a fucking joke, dude. You're fucking. It's so fucking funny. Touche. No more. No more with that shit. <laughs> My bad. Good one, dude. Stop. <laughs> My bad, dude. All right. <clears throat> Have fun fucking hosting a podcast by yourself. Oh, we already do. Yeah, I. We hosted ourselves, and we carry your fucking dead weight. Joshua, you died twenty five years ago. I'm the zombie you need to be worried <laughs> we about. We came up with the Fergie song by using a Ouija board. You guys had a, a soundboard of, of <laughs> words I said in life. <laughs> We've recorded all the sounds we would ever need from you to just keep this podcast going indefinitely. How many farts did you record from me? <laughs> oh, a I lot. Know, you'd have a to lot. ask Alexa. A lot. Hey, Google. <laughs> don't how often does josh fart oh no too much to count <laughs> this man farts so much <laughs> christian you're gonna fucking find I, a post man over here I, vamping I, I, i'm sorry <laughs> vamping I, for like I lost five minutes <laughs> i lost my i lost the post i it was so far down in the list i was just like it's a today i fucked up and i kept scrolling past <laughs> i would scroll too too fast Today I fucked up <laughs> by having an orgasm during a haircut. How? Oh. Oh, you've never been close? You've never edged during a haircut? While they're doing your edges? Sorry, that was a bad one. I, I get my haircut at Great Clits. I don't really have an issue <laughs> Great with <it>. Clits? <laughs> yeah. That's what it's called, right? Yes. That's a killer deal for it's, $15. It's, it's really not a great place for Josh because he can never find it. You really? I know it's around here somewhere. I'm sorry. It's a great deal. Fifteen dollars get the get the hair cut off and then get me off. That's what this guy is saying. That jar with all the combs in it? <laughs> That's from me, <laughs> motherfucker. That's from Mao Natural. <laughs> Josh's splooge. Don't Ugh. ask me why it's blue. <laughs> as normal as it seems, this actually happened about a year ago now. That's a bold opening. We've all been there. We've all been there. You're right, Josh. I'm a 30-ish year old male. 
My wife was nine months pregnant at the time, so I hadn't gotten any action in a while. Bro. Her choice, oh, poor man. not mine. Her choice, not mine. Yeah, we didn't think it was your choice, asshole. My wife is the only person I've ever slept with. We started dating in high school. So, so, so on with the story. <laughs> Fucking turbo verge. <laughs> I've always got my hair cut at cost cutters or sports clips. Yeah, sports clips. The clutch, cheap yeah. places because I didn't really care. My wife had been going to a salon local to us for the last few years for massages, haircuts, hair color, and the works. That sounds like the works right there. I, don't... <laughs> I had a bad experience at sports clip the last time. I just didn't like the results. So mean, she, I'm sorry. He meant to say I had a bad experience at sports clips every time. Yeah. <laughs> um, they tried to talk to me when clearly the TV was on. I pointed no, at a picture you. of Zac Efron and they gave me a fucking James Franco. <laughs> God damn. Yeah. That is how it goes. I fuck. I, all I want is a Zac Efron. I've got 17 different angles on Zac Efron's fucking dome. And they come in with fucking Joseph Gordon-Levitt type shit. (laughs) So she made me an appointment for her salon. I showed up and was in the waiting room. The stylist comes in to get me in. Wow. She is very attractive. Like, obnoxiously attractive. (laughs) After I sit in the chair, I honestly stopped thinking about it. We're having a good conversation about my wife, actually. Yes, I'm a terrible human being. I don't... That's weird. (laughs) Finish the haircut and go in the back room where they wash everyone's hair. And she started to wash my hair. I don't know what happened, but it felt really good. The way she was massaging my head while applying the shampoo... Oh, cue the boner. (laughs) Don't show us your fucking vinegar strokes on pod. (laughs) Oh. Thankfully, the way I was situated and the robe they had on me hit it pretty well, I think. Probably not. I had a warm towel over my eyes. <laughs> oh, so that's why I didn't see if he had a boner. She finishes that, and then she asks if then- I wanted a hand massage. I declined because I'm a guy, and it's just kind of awkward, and I definitely would have came, especially <laughs> given her Does attractiveness. It no. <laughs> her reaction was kind of odd. She seemed shocked that I didn't want one. She asked again if I was sure... I thought I might offend her if I said no again, Mm -hmm. so I agreed. The hand massage just felt amazing. I don't know what it was, but it was incredible. It's probably her hands. (laughs) Is this a touch of a woman? I haven't felt this in nine months. All of a sudden, I started getting little twitches in my penis for lack of a less obnoxious word for it. This dude only knows one word to describe things, and it's obnoxious. (laughs) Yeah, it's pretty obnoxious the way he describes things. I couldn't stop them. They just kept building. This dude's fucking edging. (laughs) Then she goes to switch hands, grabs the lotion, and puts the bottle down on my stomach. What do you mean switch hands? She was getting getting him off with one hand? She's only massaging one hand. massaging his hands. Ah. What did you think she was doing? Hand massage. Like, she's using her hands to massage. Oh, she was using... Like, hand massage. Like, before, she she was was using that metal thing that, like, scrapes on your skull. (laughs) You know what I'm talking yeah. about? And then she's like, do you want a hand massage instead? I can see that. That makes so much sense. No, it doesn't. Why are you getting your hands massaged? I get my hands massaged every time I go to the nail salon. Not a fucking... Yeah, this I've never a high that. class sal- salon. She grabs the lotion, puts the bottle down on my stomach, which slides down and ever so slightly touches my penis. Oh, God. That was the final straw. And it happened. Next thing I know, I'm in a full-on orgasm, and I can't stop it. Of course. I I end up crossing my legs to further hide the fact I do a very obvious body (laughs) motion. Every man (laughs) crosses his legs while getting a a hand massage. (laughs) I end up crossing my legs to further hide the fact that my penis and groin area are having seizures, basically. I'm so embarrassed. I have no idea what to do. My semen is soaking into my boxers, and it's a terribly gross feeling. Come on, man. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> I, I don't think she knew what was going on, thank God. She finished the hand massage, and she, I have the most awkward walk of my life back to her chair. That's like a fucking teenager sneaking back into their parents' house thinking they don't hear them. She kn- she's not a fucking idiot. 
She knew you fucking creamed your chino. The moment you went, oh, <laughs> she knew <laughs> crossing your legs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a screamer. <laughs> yeah, we've heard the bird bath story. All right. <laughs> I have the most awkward walk of my life back to her chair. Yeah, that's the, I basically that's the <laughs> <laughs> I basically shut down at that point and tried to rush the rest of the appointment. We can just skip the haircut actually. Yeah, just it's fine. Buzz it, buzz it, buzz it. <laughs> just fucking Shampoo was after the haircut. <laughs> that was the that was pre haircut. Oh, I thought I'm, you said after. It was after. I'm just fucking Fucking around here. I'm sure I was bright red at this point from embarrassment. Also just coming in my pants. <laughs> we finish the appointment. I go to the cashier to check out. Oh, then he <laughs> and, has to take the fucking apron off. In an epic moment of good judgment, I decide to give her an obnoxious tip on top of it. Obnoxious? I think it was $50 on a $50 bill. Oh, my God. That makes it way less obvious that you fucking... Finish. That makes it more. He just paid for an orgasm. Basically. Yeah, he just paid for a happy. <laughs> hey, sex work is work. I'm not saying it's not, but like non-consensual sex work is not work. Yeah. Yes, I'm an idiot, and if she did know, I just made it a million times more awkward. Mm-hmm. I went home, avoided my wife, and went straight into the shower, hid my clothes, and put them in the washer right after my shower. Like you I've, murdered her. I have never been back. <laughs> And have made do with my subpar haircuts for my local sports clips since. My wife doesn't know. Telling her the story a week from her due date could have gone literally any direction. And telling her now would just be even more awkward. No, you should tell her now. If I told her right now, it'd be super obnoxious. Does it really say that? No. God damn it, Christian. <laughs> so there's my story, guys. Judge all you want. Uh, I'm aware I'm an idiot uh, and did multiple things you. to make it worse. I feel like I sexually harassed her or something. Yeah, you did. Mm-hmm. I hate myself, but not enough to dwell on it. <laughs> but I'm a man, so I'm over it. But here I am a year later telling you that it happened. He's, it's not his. It's not my fault. All the fucking girls at sports clubs are busted. They're all like fours. <laughs> they, like, they couldn't get me off if they dropped two bottles on my dick. <laughs> God. Why you, do men suck so much? I don't know. He, more they, like, why doesn't the woman suck more? <laughs> Fuck, dude. Oh, shit. He does have a question and answer section here. Some people took things too literal or didn't get my attempts at humor. It's your fault that I sound like an asshole. Did you come in your pants or not? That's, <laughs> That's the only important part. Yeah. Was that too literal of us? or She wasn't that obnoxiously hot. She was like a seven. She was just obnoxious. Like Cameron Diaz with a little bit too much weight on her hips, if you know what I'm saying. That sounds like a fantastic thing. Yes. <laughs> I understand that I used the word obnoxious three times and again <laughs> in my too long didn't read. Now I've, I've So now I've used it five times. Sometimes a word gets stuck in my head and I use it too much. May, he, may hell rain down on me for my sins. I did not mean obnoxiously attractive as a bad thing, though. And yes, I intentionally used the word wrong. I don't think he did, intentionally. I just found it to be too funny of a way to describe my reaction. She was so attractive, it was almost offensive. Maybe it would have been a better choice, but I don't know. It was just a joke. This dude's getting super defensive. This guy this. read the spark notes on what a callback is and was like, oh, I'll just use the same word six times and it'll be like an internal com- callback inside the story. At least we know it's not fake. Yeah. Because, any well... Why is he getting so defensive? Put your aluminum foil hats on, boys. Maybe he intentionally wrote it poorly, so that way you'd throw out the fucking scent. Who are you? (laughs) Is that supposed to be X-Files? Yeah. (laughs) He's got a little parting words here for us, guys. Parting words. Finish it up, As I probably won't be back to this thread. To the people trying to blame my wife for not bending over backwards to make sure I'm sexually satisfied in the best way possible, please piss off. Yeah, that's pretty good. Off. No, 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 no. He intentionally brought that up to make him look like less of a bad guy. He's... My For everybody wife... in here saying I should murder my wife. Uh, no, <laughs> I would never do that. You're better than me. <laughs> my wife was pregnant and was going through a lot. Thinking that she should drop everything to rub one out for me is pretty fucked up, guys. If I was at the point where I needed something, I would have just rubbed one out myself like a normal person. Guys, it would be so inappropriate of me to approach her at 7 in the morning because I'm about to go to work and she says, no, I'm too tired. And I keep saying, like, come on, please just fucking touch my dick once. Like, slap a fucking bottle on there. Like, just breathe on it. I need to come. That would be really <laughs> rude if I said that. 
right? Yeah. <laughs> right, <Sure> guys? <laughs> You're the weird ones. I didn't feel sexually deprived. I had much more important things on my mind. Life doesn't revolve around sex for me. <laughs> This dude is back what a, No, so he's hard. such a good guy. No, this dude's this dude rocks. This dude's fucking rock solid. He just saw a fucking babe and he couldn't help from fucking busting, all right? Honestly, I would have done the same thing. Yeah, Erica's busting every time. <laughs> every time. Busting do make me feel good. And the wise words of the guy who sang the Ghostbusters theme song. Ah, oh, <clears throat> yes. That dude Dude's got issues. He needs to look mm-hmm. in the mirror. Mm-hmm. You guys want to all go get haircuts and see who comes first? I get my haircut on the seventeenth, so you guys of can March. Book your... We'll plan yeah. it. Yeah, we'll book it. I'll book it right now. We'll see who comes. Yeah, first. I mean, you we... usually do get your haircut the same time I do. We all get our haircut from the same person, don't we? Yeah. We'll just take turns. I'll we'll just see. <laughs> we'll speed run coming in a salon. <laughs> see what happens. Hopefully they don't listen. They'll be like, uh, we, we can't do your appointment anymore. <laughs> yeah, we're canceling your appointments forever, oh, I no. think. Your um, roots are so grown out. You're banned from the premises, so. haircut. <laughs> Please lose our number. Uh, speaking of losing our numbers, guys, share the podcast with your friends. Oof, that's depressing. <laughs> that's the best segue we've ever had. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, if you liked the episode, please share it. We always enjoy getting new fans. Um, Erica, where can they find us on social? Instagram and Twitter and TikTok and YouTube at Judgy's Pod. J U D G I E S Pod. Yeah. And if uh, you have any stories about, I don't know, what you're going to do if there's a zombie apocalypse or like maybe you have a flock of crows that you got your whole neighborhood to pitch in and become like a real staple of the neighborhood. You gave a sentimental gift to someone you love and they hated it and left you for it? Let us know. Do you have any recordings of yourself farting at night? We'll just send those right up to Mr. Bezos himself. Yeah. And then, uh, like, if you're, like, coming, well, (laughs) ever, I guess, you can just (laughs) send us an email. If you ever come outside or inside of where you should or shouldn't have done it, let us know in a funny story. (laughs) And you can send that story in to us at judgespot at gmail.com. And you can stop listening to this episode right now. Right. Bye. Okay, bye. bye.